Okay. So we're gonna get started in my favorite wide V position. And we're gonna have our arms out to a T. We're gonna bring ourselves into a lunge and then open. So we're closing our arms together and then widening out our legs. So we're kind of bringing ourselves, closing our arms like a clamshell and then opening out wide. And you can think of it as an up and down motion or you can kind of just glide your foot in and out. So we're getting that side warm. Oh, we have to our stacked body in and out. Four more, we'll stay center in three and two. And now we're just gonna do our drop and lift, warming up in the center, down, lift, lower and lift. Four more, we're gonna go back into that T arm. In two, last one, we're in our T, we're gonna drag it in and open, in and open. So lunge, wide V knee, lunge and wide, in and open. Use that core when you twist, it's four more. Three, last two, last one, and one more set of our up and down wide V knee bends here. Grabbing all that wonderful energy around us, embracing the fact that there's sunshine outside, even though I've barely been out in the week. <laughs> Four more. Three. Last two. Last one. We'll kind of walk our feet a little bit less wide, so we're in that squat position. We're going to sink our seat back, maybe lift our toes off the ground, really root into our heels. We'll start with just some basic pulses down and down. So we're warming up our glutes, warming up our hamstrings, relaxing our shoulders, really breathing into just a small pulse here. It's lower, lower, drop, drop. We're gonna bring into a little bigger range of motion in four, three, two, it's drop, and then press back. Squat and press. Down and press, lower, reach. Four more, last three, Two, we're gonna keep it low. Staying low, we're gonna step out and out, step it back, back. Just going to this one side. Staying low in our squat so our knees are still bent. We're just doing a slight step in and out. Staying in that warm sensation, our quads. Four more on this side, back and back. Three more, back, two, back, Last one, we're gonna go back into that flush out, down and press, lower, press. So we're flushing that out, lower and press. Four more, we're gonna hold it low in three. Last two, last one, we're gonna walk it to the other side. It's out, step out, it's in and in. Bring it out and out, step it in and in. Keeping our shoulders back, our chest is open. It's last two, in, last one, back in, and we'll do those pulses. So we're just going down, really rooting our heels, getting those backs of our legs really warm, pulse, pulse. Four, three, two, flush it out. So down and press, lower and press, drop. Whole point of this course is our warm up, so just getting our whole body warm, down and up. Four more, last three, two, and last one. All right, so our optional prop today is a ball, or if you have a small pillow, you can use that the same way, or if you have weights lying around, that's also fine. But for the ball, we'll start just squeezing and pressing, using our palms on the ball, squeezing in and working our chest just to warm up those arms a little bit. So it can be a small squeeze, or I have kind of a more mushy ball today. You can do a bigger squeeze. Your legs are hip width parallel, shoulders are relaxed. So it's press in and in, squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, we're gonna point our fingers forward, reach, drag it in. Reach and then squeeze that ball in forward and back. So again, small pillow is great. If you don't have any props, you can just press your palms together. That will be fine. Reach and in. Four more. Three, two, 
Last one, we're just gonna rotate, so one hand's on top. We're gonna squeeze in, bring our elbow to our side, reach and pull, trying to keep our opposite shoulder, that top shoulder down, in and pull out. So since I can't find any uh, yeast, I can't bake, so it's like you're offering me a baked good and dragging it away. Four more, we're gonna keep it out in three. And two, last one, we're gonna press and do that bicep curl and lower, lift and lower, lift and reach, bend and extend. It's curl, release, up and lower. Four more, three, two, last one, we're gonna drag our elbow in and just squeeze and press up and down on the ball. Press, pressing up, kind of like we did with yoga block or book in another class. Press up and down, up and down. Four, three, two, and now we're just gonna do a little pretend we're driving thing with our ball here. Just wiggle out our arms for a second. You can add your little wiggly hips if you'd like. And then when you're ready, we're gonna kind of flip the arms. So we're gonna drag out, pull it in. So doing our bicep reaches on the other side, trying to relax that top shoulder. Out, drag in, reach out, and in. Four more, we'll hold it out. In three, last two, last one, and that we curl, we go up and lower. Curl and lower, so palm at the bottom, heading towards your shoulder. Lift and press, lift and lower. Four more, hold it low. In three, last two, Last one, we're dragging the elbow back in and just pressing up and down, up and down, pulse up and down, down and up. Pulse, pulse, press that ball or whatever. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're taking this ball overhead, so it's kind of like a halo overhead. We're squeezing in first, just pressing in like we did at the very beginning, in, squeeze in. So getting inside armpits, tops of our shoulders here, and squeeze, squeeze, Squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Four, three, two, we're gonna hold our arms up, walk your legs a little bit wider. We'll do a wide knee bend and then reach up and over, just to that side, pressing on that ball as you lift and lower. You can lower your arms down and reach up or you can just keep them up without bending the elbows, reaching up and over that hip as you lean to that side. It's up and over, up and over. Four more, we're gonna hold it in that lean. Last two. So we're holding in that lean. We're just gonna pulse up and over that hip, pressing on that ball with that top arm, pressing up in the ball with that bottom arm. Four, three, two, and now we're gonna drag this ball down and lift. So you can have the optional squat. We're squeezing on the ball, dragging it to our shoulder height and lifting it up. Kind of like we're about to jump off the ground. It's down and lift, lower, lift. Four more, we'll do the side knee on the other side in three. Last two, last one. Now it's drop, up and over, lower, up and over. So again, leaning up and over that hip and pressing on that ball. You can drop those elbows if you'd like in between when you bend. Four more, we'll hold it to that side. Three, last two. Last one, we're gonna lean and press, lean and press. So we're pulsing arm overhead, over that hip, squeezing on the ball, four, three, two, and one. Just kind of roll out those shoulders. Now we're gonna step into a lunge. So I'm just turning so you can see the position, but you can stay facing the direction. I'm going to have this back leg straight, front leg knee stacked. I'm going to hinge at the hips. This is just an option. You can stay upright if that's better for your back. I'm reaching that ball forward. I'm going to drag it in and bend the knee and that back knee as I drag the ball in. So I'm squeezing on that ball, bringing it towards my chest. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. I'm trying to work kind of like a modified row. Down and reach. Down, reach. Four more. Three, two, last one. We're gonna pulse, pulse on that ball, just pressing in and just pulsing our knee down. It's down and press, down and press. Feel that pull in your hip flexor, that inner thigh work. Squeeze and press, squeeze and press. Down and squeeze. Four, three, two, 
We're gonna switch to the other side. So now I've got other leg straight, front leg, I'm leaning over a little bit. We're going to reach behind us now. So the ball's behind us for some tricep work. Squeezing in on that ball. We're gonna squeeze and bend that back knee, squeeze and drop. So pulsing back knee down, pressing in on that ball. Remember that hinge will give you more space. Squeeze and press, squeeze and press. Four, three, two. Now we're just gonna tap those hands up while we squeeze on the ball. It's a little awkward. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Four, three, two, and one. Whew, I'll shake that out. I'm gonna take a little sip of water, which I always recommend. And I talk a lot and try and breathe and get hydrated. Okay, so we're gonna step out wide now. And we have this wide stance. We're gonna have our feet turned forward. I'm gonna have you put the ball, if you're using it, here underneath your elbow. We're gonna reach and drag. So we're keeping a squeeze, elbow into the ball, and reaching just to that side, and that side lunge. So it's gonna bend the same knee that's you're using the elbow on the ball. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Four more, hopefully you're feeling a nice stretch in this leg. Two, last one, and then we'll take it to the other side. Just unusual but fun here. Reach and drag, reach and drag. So we're just keeping that squeeze, reach and pull. Four more, three, two, Last one. I'm just going to take the ball and set it down. Um, and we'll, I'm going to do a little move since we have this kind of stance here. I'm just going to move myself so I don't hit the wall. What I want to do is recreate that move, but with the, the ball in the way, we're going to reach across and then kick up. Reaching and then kicking up, bringing this knee to this opposite elbow. So it's kind of like a core move but you get to use your whole body, you get to use your legs. I can't see you, so don't worry if you think you're flailing around. Reach and drag. If this is too much, you can reach and tap, or reach and stretch, whatever. You've got options, reach and pull. Four more, three, last two, last one, and then we'll go to the other side. So it's reach and drag, reach, elbow to knee, reach across, lift, reach and twist, reach, twist. Getting our heart rate up here. It's reach, twist, reach it down and twist. Four more like this. Three, last two, last one, and whew, we'll take it down. So. We're gonna get down on our mat. We're gonna get to a, um, we'll start on our knees and do a forearm plank with our knees bent. So we're gonna make sure our knees are behind us. You can have your legs down flat or you can press um, and lift them up like this. Our arms are at 11 on our clock, but they look like at 11, the number 11 on the clock. Uh, relaxing your shoulders, easing forward, pulling our belly button towards our spine and ribs it down and in. And this is just a starting point to get our core working. I feel like it's really effective on the knees even in a far plank. So we're holding here and taking some breaths. And then when you're ready, you have the option to go into the full expression. So right away, you need to start rocking back and forth on those toes. Your whole body moving in one straight line back and forth. That press of the palms and the arms holding you steady on the mat. Four, three, two, lower down. And I did crack sounds. Hopefully that wasn't too loud on the, on the video there. And just take a nice stretch forward. Some breaths here. We're going to get back into a forearm plank. So as we are in this position, we're gonna drop one knee and lift, other knee 
lift. So it's alternating knee bends towards the mat. You don't have to tap the mat. Drop and lift, drop and lift. Four more like this slow, and then we'll speed it up. Last two, last one, and now we'll double time. So it's down, down, down. Alternating, drop and drop, drop, drop. Keep that belly in. Four, three, two, and take a break. Child's pose, last stretch, child stretch, whatever. And we'll do one more uh, plank, and we'll do a option to forearm or straight arm. So I'll get on straight arms because that uh, makes it up. And what we will do is take our knee out towards our elbow, bring it back in. So we're doing it on the sides. If you're doing forearm plank, you can still do this. You don't have to drag it under your body. Pulling that knee, kind of a side mountain climber. Slow and deliberate, and nothing speedy here. Four more. Three, two, last one, and then down dog stretch. Whew. All right. We will walk our feet forward and roll up to standing. And so we can do some standing thigh work. So I'm going to take the ball back if you have the ball pillow or whatever and put it in between our legs, just above the knees, in between our inner thighs, and still kind of keep the feet hip width parallel. First thing we'll do is just calf raises, nothing crazy, up and down. You can even kind of lean back on that heel and lift your toes off the mat to get kind of a pulled foot roll which we might need after all the weird positions we've been sitting in lately. Lift and lower. Lift and drop. Breathing here, it's four more. Three, two. On this last one, keep your heels lifted. We're gonna drag our knees forward and glide our seat down towards the ground. And if you can, of course, keep your feet close to hip width. Start squeezing in on that ball. It's in and squeeze. You can always emulate that with your elbows behind your back, pulling in and in, squeeze and squeeze. Four, three, two, holding that squeeze. You have the option to put your hands to prayer on your hips. We're gonna drop down and down, lift a little less, lift a little less. It's lower, lower, lift halfway, lift halfway. It's drop and drop, lift and lift. Lower for two, lift. So right away, using this ball or a pillow here will get you some more shakes as you get deeper into those muscles. It's an option, you can drop at any time. Lift and lift. Lower, lower, lift and squeeze. Four more, lift, three, and lift. Last two, lift. Last one, hold it low. Squeeze on that ball again. So it's squeeze and squeeze. Feel those glutes working, feel that core working. Squeeze and press, squeeze and press. In and in. Four, three, two, hold that squeeze. Down an inch and lift an inch. So just the seats moving up and down. Heels stay steady. Everything staying in one long line down an imaginary wall. We slide up and down. Just a little inch. Lower and lift, up and down. Four more, we're gonna hold it low. Three, two, hold it low. Pulse and squeeze, pulse and squeeze. Just simultaneously down and squeeze, down and squeeze, down and squeeze. You can drop your heels at any time. Lower and lower. Four, three, two, hold it low. Optional, lift your arms overhead, hold, Four, three, two, and straight down, stretch forward. Whew, my heart is racing in a good way, keeping the blood flowing up and through. So while we have this ball between our legs, we're gonna take our feet to that V position so we have that piece of, piece of pie or pizza in between. And we are going to lift our heels again as they squeeze together and then lower our seat down. So we've got that butterfly external rotation in our knee. Right now we're going to lift the hips right, lift them forward, 
lift them left, lift them back. So we're gonna do right, forward. I know this sounds kind of like an old 90s song or something. So right and forward, left and back. We're gonna kind of roll through our hips now at your pace. I'll try and hold your heels together. Four more. Three, two, other way. So we're going forward, right, back, and left. And you might fall over like me, but you kind of really don't understand until you start wobbling how much this gets into your calf muscles. Woo, last two. Last one, hold that forward, lift those heels, drop down just more time, lift those arms up, we'll flap our knees out externally for just a moment, out, out, squeeze it out. Four, three, two, and we will release. Oh my goodness, okay. We're gonna just take the ball, put it off to the side again. I'm gonna take a slip again, and then we will get back into a lunge position. So we'll step one foot back, one foot will be stacked again like we did a warm up. We're gonna have whatever again, arm position you like. We're gonna take this knee down, down, and lift. So it's drop, drop, lift. So we're doing down two, lift one, down two, lift one. Lower and up, down, down, and up. Lower, lower, and lift. Drop, drop, and lift. So I have my back straight, you can hinge. Down, down, lift up. Two more, last one, and then just pulse down. Pulse it down, and down. Woo! Four, three, two, we're gonna hinge now. Reaching our arms forward, dragging those toes in, reaching them back out, drag in. Glide out, reach in, lift out. Two more, and back. Last one, and now we're going to lift up to a knee lift, and then back into that lunge. So we're doing slow movement again. If this is not serving you, you can still tap your feet or glide them to meet the other foot. Lift, and lower. Four more like this. Three. Last two. Can you hold this knee up? We're gonna twist our body to face that side where the knee is. Holding this twist, just feeling the power, and that core is ringing out. Four, three, two, and lower. You can stay here and just switch legs. I'm just moving so I can still face you when we do that twist. So we have the opposite leg back. We have ourselves upright. We're gonna go down, down, and lift. So back knee towards the mat, down, down, and lift. Drop for two, lift up. Lower, lower, and lift. Lower, lower, and lift. Two more like this, and lift. Last one like this, and lift. Pulse down, down, pulse it down, down. Really feel this really nice stretch here in the hip flexor. Four, three, two, we're gonna hinge. Dragging those knees, those toes into the other toes. Drag and reach, drag. Using that core to drag your foot up and back. Drag and reach, tap those toes back. Two more, last one. Now option to lift that knee up and then reach it back. This side's a little bit more wobbly for me. Reach and stretch. Lift and back. Last two. We're gonna hold up this last one. And then we're gonna twist to that front side or opposite side. Four, three, two, and release. I'm gonna shake that out. And I'll just down myself here. I am sweaty. All right. So, let's incorporate the ball a little bit more, because it's fun. Let's go ahead and get on all fours. If your ball can get behind you here, hopefully it can. Um, if not, don't need it to do this. So, I will have 
Let myself stack here in all fours, shoulders over palms and hips over knees. Flexing the foot that has the ball behind the knee. I'm gonna lift this leg up. I'm gonna drag that knee in and lift it up while I squeeze that ball with the back of my leg. Trying to get deep into my glutes here. It's down and lift. So this is a full flushy movement at the start. Big range of motion in and back. So the hard part is not trying to lean on the other side. So you can do a slight bend or bigger bend in that elbow that's on the same side as the leg that has the ball. Lift and lower. Four more, we're gonna hold it up. Three, two. Last one, we're gonna just flex that foot and tap the ceiling. Lift, lift, tap, tap, lift, 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 and reach. Four, three, two, now just squeeze heel to seat. So we're kicking that heel towards your glute, squeezing out that ball, squeeze, squeeze, in and out, in and out. Four, three, two, hold. Optional lift opposite arm. Four, three, two, lower that arm. We're gonna drag the seat down, open and close. So we still have that grip on the ball as we do our clam. Open and close. Out and in, out and in. Four more, three, two. Last one, we're gonna take this knee, cross it behind the other knee and kick up. So it's kind of like when we do those triangles or rainbows or whatever, where we're bringing the knee behind the other knee and lifting, back and lift. Drop and lift, lower, lift. Four more, three, two, last one, we'll lower that down. We'll take that ball out and just stretch that leg back for a second. Whatever you need to do, glide it forward and back, wiggle it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the ball behind the other knee and just reset into my all fours. And I will take this back foot, flex it, and do that flushing. So fully in and fully back, flexing that foot and dragging that knee in and under. Lift and lift. Four more. Three, we'll hold it up. And two, last one, we're flexing the foot and tapping the ceiling, lift. Really trying to get in the booty, feeling our booty burn. Lift and lift. Four more, three, two, just squeeze, heel the seat, it's kick and kick. Kick and release, kick and release. Bringing the heel towards our seat. Four more, three, two, we're gonna hold it, hold our arm, I'm gonna get cramped, so I'm gonna keep a second. Reaching, lowering that arm, we're gonna do our clamps out, drag in. It's out and drag it in, open and close, open, close. Four more, three, two. Last one, we're gonna bring the knee behind the knee and lift up, knee. So it's a diagonal cross and lift, diagonal and lift, down and lift, reach and lift. Four more. Three, two, last one, and we will take that ball out for a second. I'm gonna go into a figure four stretch. So I'm gonna cross my leg over, flex that foot, press my hips forward, and lean back for a piriformis stretch. Woo, breathing and releasing. And then I will switch sides here. Very nice. So we're going to get back up and standing, however comfortable way you have to do that. We're going to do some front leg work. We don't usually get to do that too much. Uh, you don't have to hold on anything. If you need to, then you can suddenly grab onto something nearby. So I'm going to press my palms together, slight bend in this knee, and lift this leg. Just kind of glide it out, actually, not lifted yet. Just glide it in front of me here. We're gonna just slightly lift this and tap our toes. So the leg is lifting forward. It's not rotated in or out, but I'm just trying to work a different part of our thighs. We don't usually do the tops of our thighs too much. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more, three, two. 
Last one, we're gonna bend this knee, lift the knee and lower. So you don't have to tap the toes. We're just lifting from the core, that leg knees lifting up, it's tap up and lower, lift and lower. Just working again, this quad is getting really warm, lift and lower. Four more, we're gonna hold this knee up, three, two, we're gonna hold the knee up, we're gonna straighten the leg and bend, straighten and bend. So it's kind of an unusual feeling, really warm in the quad, point and in, point and in. Four more, three, we'll leave it straight, and two, now we're gonna keep this straight, flex and point, flex and point. Just moving through our ankle here a little bit. Remember that standing leg knee bend or you can hold on with your hands on your hips. Four more, three, two. Last one, keep that leg pointed. We're gonna go out to the side and draw like a quarter circle here or half smiley face. So that's where that knee bend here will help you stay steady. Out, forward, out and forward. Four more. Three, we're gonna hold it to the side. And two, now we're at this side. We're just gonna drop it for a second because I know my foot's getting tired here. Now we'll lift it up. We're going to do the same point and flex, point and flex. So getting a little bit of a feeling here on the side. Flex and point, flex, point. Four, three, two. We're gonna keep the point, we're gonna tap and lift, tap, lift. Drop and lift. Four more, three, two, last one, and now it's bend the knee and drop. Bend, extend, lift and point, lift, point. Four more, three, two, last one. I'm just gonna, Wobble again, I might grab onto my surface here, countertop back of the chair. And we're gonna take this foot, we're gonna draw little circles with our toes in the air, out and around, out and around. Four, three, two, and reverse, so it's down and around, down and around. Four, three, two, and release. Whew. I'm just gonna cross the leg over and stretch forward. Now we'll do the other side. So again, we are straight, we're bending this leg. We're gonna take our foot and glide it forward and we're gonna lift and lower this leg. So let's just lift and lower, lift this leg and lower. Everything's going in just one straight line from core to feet, lift and lower. Now the side might be wobbly, it's your stabilizers possibly. Four, three, two, Last one, now it's just lift the knee and lower. So you may not tap the ground, just lifting that leg with the knee bent from that core. Exhale, inhale. Four more, we'll leave that knee up in three. In two, knee is up, we're gonna point and straighten, sorry. Bend and straighten. Bend the knee, straighten. Bend and straighten. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more, three, two, last one, and now it's flex and point. Flex, point, flex the foot, point the toes, flex and point. Four more, keep the point in three, in two. Last one, we're gonna draw our half smiley forward, half and forward. So you might feel a little bit more pull in this hip area, as it gets more work and more fatigue. Open, circle, last two. We're gonna keep it to the side, last one. And then we're gonna lift and tap, lift and tap. Here's where I'm gonna hold on to my surface. Lift and tap, lift. Four more, we're gonna do the knee bend in three. In two, it's bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. So we're just doing out to the side, we did forward, lift and lower. Four more, three, two, last one, we're gonna point and flex, point and flex. So we're doing what we did forward again on the side. Four more, we'll keep the point in three. 
and two, keep the point, we're drawing our circles up and around, up and around, four, three, two, other side, down and around, and down and around, four, three, two, and release, cross this leg over the other and stretch down. Whew, that was, that's good. <laughs> that's my glutes quite a bit. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get on our mat, take a breather from all that standing. I'm going to do some different things with the ball again. All right, so first thing is we're going to use this to go under our ribs. <laughs> so it's like a pillow, or you can put an actual pillow here, like I suggested at the beginning. So we are resting shoulder over elbow platform, but if this doesn't serve you, you can use it as a pillow under your head, um, or you can get out with your palm, or you can lay on your arm. I have my knees bent forward here. Right now, everything is going to stay on the ground, so that's exciting. <laughs> Um, I want to take this top leg, straighten it, stay this one bent to kind of hold us steady. I'm going to take my arm up and over. So we're going to do those pendulum swings that we usually do standing. We're dragging our elbow past our knee and reaching forward. So it's kind of like a little twist and then reaching up and over that ball. You want to pull your oblique, that bottom oblique off the ball. And this kind of helps us flush out some of that tough work we just did standing. Reach and reach. Pull in, in, reach, reach. Four more. Reach, reach. Three, reach. Last two, reach, extend. Last one in, last one long. Keep everything long here. We're going to reach, tap our toe reach up and over. So we're kind of twisting our body up towards the foot and then rotating back over the ball. So it's reach and tap and rotate, reach and rotate. Just lengthen and extend, tap and up and over. Four more, reach, three and reach, two, the last one and release. We're gonna do one more thing since we're right here. We'll get our arm behind. Our head here, we're gonna reach this hand a little bit longer and just do some oblique side crunch thingies because they're kind of fun. Bringing our oblique, pulling everything up and over, up and over. Four, three, two, and one. So I'm just gonna swap sides, put this under my ribs here, flatten my everything. <laughs> Straighten this top leg, doing our pendulum swing. We're gonna drag in and in, reach and reach. So we're gliding our elbow past our knee, reaching forward, pulling that oblique off the ball, using our core for everything that we're doing, but it's still glute work. In, drag in, reach and reach. In and in, reach, reach. Last two, reach. Last one, reach. So now we're gonna tap up, twist up and over, tap and twist. So it's reach, tap, twist up and over that ball. Reach and twist, reach and twist. Four more, three, last two, last one. And now we'll just straighten this bottom arm a little bit, bend these knees, arm overhead for some little oblique crunches. Just bringing ourselves up on the side, crunch and lower, four more, three, two, and last one. All right, I'm so excited about core work. So we might move bridge to later if you need it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some core things. So uh, first thing we'll do, I'm gonna lower down. I'm going to lift my legs all the way up, or, you know, slightly angled. Taking this ball, I'm going to lean it on my legs. I'm going to roll it up my legs and roll it down. So I'm curling chin to chest as I press this ball up and down my legs. So they're one unit kind of pressed together all the way from hips to toes, like a mermaid tail. So it's curl, roll, lower, curl, roll it down. Trying to get 
Warm in the core, curl and lower, curl. I barely have my fingertips on the ball, just pressing it up and down. Four more, three, two, last one. We're gonna drop our feet flat. I'm just gonna put the ball next to you, so we'll get back to it, I promise. So feet are flat, knees are bent. We're gonna take our hands behind our neck. First thing I want you to do is to take your feet together and kind of drop your knees out. So we're in that diamond that sometimes we do when we're on our side. So our feet are still on the floor, they're kind of angled towards each other, and we have a diamond between our legs. We're gonna curl, curl, lower, lower. Curl up and up, lower down, down. It's lift for two, lower. So we're bringing our chin towards our chest as we curl, lower and lower. Keeping our feet in the diamond. If this is not serving you though, you can keep your feet flat, knees bent, or you can straighten your legs. Lift and lift, lower and lower. Four and lower. Three more, lower. Last two, lower. Last one. All right, so we're gonna add on. So next time when you lift up, you're gonna squeeze your knees and then you're gonna release them out when you lower. So it's gonna be curl, squeeze, and lower. So we're doing singles. Curl, squeeze, and lower. Knees in and lower. Knees and release. Curl in, release. So this is where you can stay or you can lift your legs to tabletop and do this with the legs up. Curl and lower. Knees in and lower. Curl and press lower. Squeeze and lower. So this is like a butterfly again. Butterfly and diamond combo. <laughs> but if you want to take it a little bit further, you can move your knees away from your hips further out. Getting more into your higher part of your core here, your rectus. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Four, three, two, we're gonna curl for two, lower for one. So it's up, up and lower. Curl, curl and lower. Curl, curl, lower. Lift, lift, release. Four and lower. Three, drop. Two, last one, and grab those knees. And rock side to side. Whew. That was a good core warm up. <laughs> While we're down here, we're gonna put this ball just right between our shins. So it's for squeezing in with the lower part of our legs. You can have a slight knee bend here. If you're really straight or you can do completely like this. So whatever you're doing is fine. We're gonna lower and stretch out our body and then curl up arms to our sides. Squeezing in on that ball as you reach out and pull in, dragging everything in, out. Curl in, reach out. Bend and extend, curl, release. So you can still do this with a pillow if you don't have a ball. And you can still do this without props. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Four, three, two, last one. All right, now this is gonna be mid-core. So we're gonna put this in the middle of our back, maybe slightly below the shoulders. <sighs> Catch your breath. Okay. So we're kind of lifted here. Right now, it's deceiving. It seems so easy, but it'll keep getting harder, I think. So first thing, we'll put our hands behind our head. We're gonna go kind of up and over the ball and then curl up. Up and over and lift. So we're kind of getting that nice stretch and release and then curling up, stretch and curl. Stretch and curl. Just getting yourself started in this position. If the ball is bothering you, you can drop it or you can change the position. If you want it higher, like by your shoulder blades, that's fine. Up and over, lift. Up and lift. Four, three, two. Last one, we're gonna lift our right leg to tabletop. Open your arms out wide. We're gonna drag our left arm towards our right and open and close this arm to the other hand. So hands are touching and then opening. 
really quick in the obliques. Open and close. Out and in. Out and in. Woo! Four. Three. Two. Last one. We're going to get into like we're boxing mode. We're going to punch left over right knee. Left arm across. Left arm across. Punch and punch. We're going to add on in just four. Three. Two. Punch and then add that right arm cross. Punch and cross. Punch. Punch. Four. Three. Two. And we're going to just lower that leg and kind of split over for a second. Woo! <laughs> All right. Take a quick breather. We're going to get back up. Let's go ahead and lift this left leg to tabletop. Open those arms out wide again. We're going to take our right arm across, tap our left arm and open. Cross, open. So we're getting into the right oblique. Cross and open. Cross, reach and open. Four more. Three, two. Now we're going to do those punches. So we're punching right arm across left, right across the left leg. Cross. Punch, punch. Four more, we'll do both arms. Three, two, punch across, punch. Reach, punch, reach, reach. Four, three, two. Last one, lower that leg. Do one more of these. Slide out the knees. Breathe. We've got one more mid-core move. So again, we're going to take our legs to tabletop now, both legs are tabletop. We're going to have our arms open. We're going to reach them higher. We're going to lean up right, lean up left. So just kind of lifting up and up and each side just a little bit. Arm up and down, up and down. Right, left, right, left. Kind of grabbing those apple picking things, which is not as deliberate. Lift and right, lift and left. Four, three, two, last one. We'll straighten our legs and then do our up and over, ball pillow, or just straight back. <sighs> that was good. Good core work for me. One more core thing, just because I love doing it, we have a ball or pillow, is to stick this under our sacrum. So just right above our tailbone. This is totally optional. Everything we do in this can be flat back too. So don't feel like you have to. I'm going to take my legs straight up in the air. I'm going to have my hands either down by my side or at a T for more stability, whatever I feel good about. I'm going to lower my right leg down and drag it back up. Just the right leg, dragging it back up. Option is to go a little bit further out with the left leg so it's at an angle. It gets a little bit more in that lower part of your core, or you can keep it straight. Lift, lift, lower, lower. So this is one option. Another option is to curl head, neck, and shoulders up as you do this. Lift and lift, lower, lower. Two more, lower down. Last one, drop and release those head down, head, neck, shoulders for a second. We're going to repeat with the left leg again, straight legs or slight angle down. Drop the left leg, drag it back up. So it's drop, inhale. Exhale, drag, lower, and drag. Inhale, exhale. Option works at the head, neck, and shoulders. Lift, lower, lift. Four, lift. Three more, lift. Last two, up. Last one, and release. We'll take this ball out from underneath our sacrum, and we're going to stick this ball back right here between our thighs, keeping our legs hip width parallel, heels close to our seat. Probably could use bridge work now to kind of stretch our core. So what we'll do, hands will be by our side. We're going to lift up to our high part of our bridge work, wherever we're not feeling pain in our back. And we're going to drop and lift, keeping that squeeze on that ball. Keeping the belly button to the spine, head, neck, shoulders, upper back, and ribs on the mat. Drop and lift those hips. Lower, pelvic lift, down 
and lift. So we're going to think about squeezing on the ball. We lift up, squeeze. It's drop, lift, and squeeze. Lower, lift, squeeze. Down, lift, squeeze. One more shot of those glutes. Down, up, and squeeze. Lower, squeeze. Drop, squeeze. Four more. Lift it up. Three, keep it up. Two, squeeze. Last one. Now squeeze and press. Squeezing on that ball. In, squeeze in. It's in, in, in. Squeeze, squeeze. Pull those inner thighs. Four, three, two, and squeeze. Hold, lower down. I'm just going to take the ball out. We're going to do a restorative bridge. So I'm going to Walk my elbows underneath my back, interlace my fingers if I can. Stretch, lifting up my hips high. Relax the shoulders. Your started bridge work feels great. And then I'm going to release down. We'll do um, just a sort of cord challenge move with bow if you have one or pillow. I'm going to take my feet on top of the ball. And I'm going to kind of roll the ball to like through under my feet and I can be more straight with my legs or more of a wider bend, longer leg bend, whatever. Not so close to my seat is what I mean. <laughs> Pressing all of my feet, all four corners into the ball, lifting my hips up, maybe with my arms up and trying to balance. So it could get wobbly, which means your core is trying to stabilize, which is good. we are just kind of rolling around and bracing these shakes you have, trying to stay steady on the ball. Maybe straighten the legs longer. Four, three, two, and roll that ball back in. And I'm just gonna bring the ball to my hands here, straighten out my legs for a moment. I think it'd be nice just for our sake to do some roll ups so you can press it on the ball, pillow, or whatever we have. I'm gonna reach the ball behind me in my arms. Inhale up here to my shoulders. Exhale, rolling myself up towards my feet, reaching the ball up and over, and then stacking myself here. Rolling down slowly, one little bit of my core at a time, and then reaching up and over. So you can do a few of these at our own pace, using our breath, everything, our whole body, reaching up and over for the stretch. Stacking our shoulders and rolling down with our core and our breath, feeling free in our movement, reaching up and over. And just do two more and then sit up or stay up when you are done with your last one. And taking a nice stretch when you finish. Reaching up, reaching over, and stacking. So as we wrap that up, we're going to kind of take ourselves and bringing our same position, just straightening our legs forward. I'm going to roll the ball down like we did in core work towards my toes, and then press on the ball and stretch forward. I'm going to try and lean up and over my waist. Rolling that ball back up my legs. <laughs> I'm gonna go out to a straddle stretch. I'm gonna press my elbow into the ball, kind of like we did in our weird warm up thingy. Reaching up and over towards my toes, maybe gazing up towards my elbow, or I can lean forward. Breathing into our stretch. I'm gonna kind of roll the ball towards my foot and do a nose to toes direction here, stretching towards my toes. And I'm going to go back to the center, rolling the ball forward, anchoring my heels into the ground so I don't slide around, press into that ball. I can round my back or I can have a straight back, whatever works. And then roll this ball up, doing my little elbow thingy, optional of course, reaching up and over or gazing up towards my arm. Getting a side body stretch. And then I'm gonna roll this to my foot and do my nose to toe stretch. Gazing towards my foot. And then rolling this back. I'm going to put my whole body into a cross-legged position. 
pressing my palm into the ball on one side. I'm going to roll this ball as I reach up and over and then drag it back in towards myself and then repeat. So I'm reaching up and over, dragging this ball in with one arm, the other arm, stretching and warming the shoulder one more time. Reaching up and over, dragging it in. Reach, drag. Two more. The last one. Now let's take it to the other side. Pressing my palm into it. Pressing, rolling the ball away from my side. Reaching up and over and drag. Reach and pull. Last two and in. Last one and release. All right, we will do one more thing on our knees. If it's comfortable, you can get on the knees or kind of resting in your shins. If not comfortable, you can stay cross legged or stand up. But I'm just taking the ball, I'm going to push it forward and then drag it back in. This is thigh dancing, so it's normally something we do in leg work, but I feel like we can kind of. We use a press forward with our hips and the tops of our thighs. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Four, three, two. The last one, I'm just going to put the ball between my uh, heels, right at my ankles. I'm going to lean back, either pressing on that ball, holding my heels, reaching back on the mat, or camel pose, you can have your palms here. But just whatever you need to stretch out one more time and release that. We'll step up into standing now. I'm going to just for fun here squeeze the ball between my forearms here, relax the shoulders, and then just lift and lower one last hit of the arms here to finish out our class since we. Might as well just use our prop to its fullest potential. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, three, two, last one, and dropping the ball. We're going to finish out with a nice stretch with our quad, taking this foot into your hand, bringing this knee in line with the other knee or slightly behind. You have a couple options. One, Hold on to this or surface, balance challenge arm overhead, or grab both hands holding the foot. That's a new one for me, <laughs> but it's kind of fun. And then we're going to take this hand back, lean forward if you can for a quad stretch. It's a dancer stretch here, kind of turns, you can see that, but pretty faking the gracefulness, your gracefulness, but you know. <laughs> and then lowering that down, we'll switch to this leg. Again, here, reaching up, grabbing behind, whatever, just stretch that leg out. And then option is to kind of press your foot in the palm and lean a little bit into that answer stretch. And then release. We'll take some closing breaths here. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, out the hump day. <laughs> inhale up. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale up. Pressing your palms together, dragging them to your heart center. Thank you for working so hard with me, especially on that core today, and I hope to see you very soon.